Make sure you watch this entire video for an absolutely free breakdown in two college football games on September 11th, a beautiful Saturday for college football. And let us not forget um, the men and women lost in the uh, September 11th tragedies. And uh, this is actually the 20 year anniversary. So let's take a little two seconds of silence for them. All right, let's dig right into this game. The first thing we are going to do is ask you guys to please subscribe to the YouTube. We worked for the last two weeks to bring you NFL divisional breakdowns. Now what you're going to get is two predictions. One between UF and FAU and one between Iowa and Iowa State. Both are going to be very good games. Love college football. It gives us football all day long. Just beautiful, beautiful day, beautiful, beautiful time of year. We're very excited. Um, now, the first game kicks off at 1 o'clock. 13th ranked Gators looking to stay uh, in the state, traveling to Tampa to play USF. The total is currently sitting with the Gators at 28-point favorites. The total over-under is set at 58.5. Now, Florida opened the season by beating Florida Atlantic 35 to 15, 35 to 14 at home last week, mainly by the way of the ground. They had 400 rushing yards, the most in school history for a season opener. Two players rushed over 100 yards. Passing game didn't look very good. Quarterback Emory Jones threw for two interceptions and 153 yards. Very poor. USF got destroyed. They uh, got really beat down by NC State 45 to nothing. Not looking very good. Both sides of the ball were disgusting. Turnovers, everything bad you can imagine. Um, their leading rusher went for 18 yards. But here's what we expect. We expect that the Bulls, having 18 starters back from last year, have the experience and the resiliency to turn it around. They're 19-7 and seven against the spread in their last 26 games after giving up 40 or more points. So, And they're 1-4. Uh, Florida's 1-4 against the spread against non-conference opponents in their last five. Look, these are the numbers right here. And as far as Florida's passing game, that we think that without Florida's passing game being what it, what it needs to be, we don't think they can win this thing by five possessions. We're going to say buy it to 28 and take USF plus 28 and a half. I'm sorry, buy it to 28 and a half. Take USF plus 28 and a half. Next, the next game on our slate is a great in-state rivalry, Iowa and Iowa State. Iowa is ranked number 10. Iowa State is ranked number 9. So this is like a really good game. I mean, that's the best way I can put it. You have two teams that love playing each other, but Iowa historically dominates Iowa State. In the last five meetings, they've won them all. Um, so... You know, we look at that and we say, well, let's just leave that alone. Let's look at the total for a second. Iowa, good week last week. They beat Indiana um, 34 to 16. Quarterback Spencer Petrus was 13 of 27, 145. His favorite target, tight end Sam Laporta, typically has like, uh, you know, five, six receptions in the game, 89 yards. Just real, real Midwest football. Um, you know, not going down the sidelines deep, just passing it to the tight end. The running was there, 158 yards um, with Tyler Goodson running for about 100 of them. So, you know, if we look at that, Iowa State, they coming off a dogfight winning 16 to 10. Quarterback Brock Purdy didn't really score a lot, 21 of 26 precision, 199 yards. Like, not great numbers, but... He kept it. He kept the game intact, and we think they're going to kick it up. Both these teams have really good defenses. The total's low, um, you know, and it's just the type of game where turnovers on the wrong side of the field are going to be important. So we are taking the over in this game. That'll be it. So to recap it, we're taking USF plus twenty eight and a half, and we're taking over. 46 in the Iowa Iowa State game. Um, guys, it's been a long week of content. Give us the love now. Um, we're going to do one more video for Sunday NFL, but please give us the love. I'm going to be real honest. The comments were a little bit lower this week than they were last week. 
Um, and we gave you guys a hell of a, a football weekend last weekend. We went 3-1 and one with a push also, so 3-1-1 one and one on college football. Keep the love coming, and we'll keep the content coming, guys. I'll see you for Sunday's games tomorrow.